Lagos Public Relations Officer, Commissioner of Police, Frank Umba said the kidnappers had collected a ransom of 10 million naira from the family of Padare before eventually killing him. We must rise up to condemn crimes of all sorts. Jetro must start an apology for the death. But Jetro sees nothing wrong in collecting ransom. This should be a lesson for everyone out there. When you encourage your child, your husband, your cousins to commit economic crimes because you feel no blood is being shed, you are actually sowing a seed that might just come back to you like a whirlwind. One of the sons of Father Ari, who was at the first headquarters to witness the event, said though their father is no more, but they are relieved that they know those responsible for the abduction and murder of their father. Tell us how you feel. You know, I feel very bad, and it's not something that at least we receive or the family receive with joy. It's a very, very sad moment. And moreover, all of these people that did this act, they are all from our village. And these are people that we know them very well. And you know, for this kind of a thing to happen, it's a very, very sad thing. We're not happy at all. And police have proved to us that they have done their work in a way that nobody can doubt them anymore. One of the suspects, Jetro Ngasson, a native of Harup in Bokos local government of Plateau State, believed to be the mastermind of the adoption, spoke. The mission was not for them to kill him after collecting ransom. Actually, it is not in my mind. So, it has happened. We will ask the police to forgive, the family to forgive, and everybody who is here because it's not the one who collected ransom and he killed the person. The arrest of the suspect, according to Frank Umba, following unrelevant efforts of the Nigerian police. Musa Victoria, Liberty News.